Hello, welcome. I thought I'd do just a, an update. Basic greenhouse update. See, see how everything's grown. Um, the leeks that are sown in these, this big plastic polystyrene box are grown away fine. Um, I've potted up the broad beans. Yeah, because I felt like they weren't uh, really doing much in that tray. So they've all been potted up. Sweet corn, the, the stuff that I first put in here is, didn't even, didn't even grow much. Yeah, that other stuff, it's, it's taller. Um, I grew it for home and I left it there for a while. And you can see the difference. I think it's just the heat, man. It gets cold at night in here. Eh? Yeah, I should have really, I should have really um, put bull wrap around with a can for next year. Uh, these are the greyhounds. <laughs> they are doing pretty much. They're doing okay. They've got my fingers in the way. They're doing okay. They're pretty much ready to go out. Maybe the other week or so. Yeah, I'll. I'll put it outside and I'll put a bit of cloche on them to harden them off. Uh, I've had a polyton, although they would have been in a polyton by now. But uh, I don't have one. Um, and there, there's mere, pea, uh, mere uh, onions. Uh, they ones are uh, going to my friends. Uh, and there is more broad beans. There's more broad beans over here. As you can see, brought down some tomatoes, Gardener's Delight, and uh, a cherry tomato, Gardener's Delight. Uh, so hopefully this site here will be going in soon. The uh, tomatoes, once it starts to dry out. And then on this one here we've got the broccoli. This is a broccoli right there, that's all it's, that's came through for, uh, um, for the tray I sown. Uh, I think I sowed these, these in compost actually, I put compost on the top so that's probably why. Um, but that greyhound over there, when I grew there, I put the vermiculite at the top. And they all came up eh. I mean that's what... That's, 100, that's 200... And, 40, like 240 cabbage plants there, eh? and then I've got some red cabbage that I, I cheated, I went and bought them, yeah, I never had any seeds, so I was like, I've seen them going pretty cheap, they were getting six of them for 150, so I just grabbed them, they take forever to bulk up, yeah, so... I shouldn't have really brought, brought as much, eh? Yeah, I didn't really eat them, so... I just put them... And I'll just take the cloche off here. That's, that's a... Fleece works a treat for the cold nights, because it keeps the... What I normally do is I normally come up around about 5, 6 o'clock, and it's still warm in this greenhouse, so I try and just keep the heat in, eh? And I put the cloche over the top, obviously, the fleece, and then I just leave it. I leave it to um, basically keep uh, keep the plants warm. Uh. Yeah, but you see these these savoy are they're kind of hitting a mess. Some of them are, are growing. Uh. Yeah, I'm not quite ready to go out yet. Some of them are even near enough to go out. Yeah, I don't know what's happened to these. What's happened to these? Like, but that's the only greyhounds I've got, yeah, which is kind of annoying. Um, but as I say, it's, it's something that happens, in it? Uh, and these are the cucumbers. Two cucumbers. And these are uh, Cosmos yellow, the flowers at the back. Um, and these are more of the greyhounds here. These ones are, are, are pretty much ready to go out yeah, as well. Uh, and these are the cauliflower. You can see that one just 
a wee bit of welding. I think I never had that one covered up properly. That's probably why. It's, it's got enough water in it. Um, we've got more peas under there. There's flowers. There's peas. These are my leeks that I bought for for my best foot. Look, look. There wasn't loads in them, eh? So I. That's them. Um, peas. And these are my onions. Hopefully the onions will be gone out soon. Um, my peas are already out. Uh, which I'll show in a separate video. Uh, so that's that's it, guys. Just thought I'd uh, update you on everything. Um, and hope everybody's staying safe and doing well. And uh, should hopefully have another video up soon. So, goodbye.